Come I confess to having a weak spot for Michael Jackson. It's based on an instinctive feeling that the great entertainer was never the abusive monster so many portrayed. If he's found guilty, you'll what? I, I said shave that mustache. I was, I was speaking metaphorically. I even bet my mustache that he wouldn't be convicted of the last trumped up charges against him back in 2005. The bigger the star, the bigger the target. When he died last June 25th, what struck me hardest was how tiny this larger-than-life character had become. And remember how many big stars turned out to say goodbye and to praise Michael in death when those same people wouldn't go near Michael during his life because he was considered damaged goods? But fair-weather friends are far less offensive than the allegations Michael was driven to his death by heartless promoters hungry for profit. With the doctor hired by the concert promoter who administered the fatal dose of propofol fighting to stay out of jail and keep his medical license, the promoter is also about to be put under the legal microscope. And with his once battered and broke estate about to swell above one billion dollars, what role is money playing in dulling the investigation into how and why he died? Joining me with what I think, at least, is big news on the Michael Jackson investigation, Jackson family attorney Brian Oxman. Brian, tell me about the lawsuit you're preparing against concert promoter AEG. Geraldo, I think that everybody feels it, they sense it, they smell it. This Dr. Murray did not act alone, and those are the facts, and that's what this lawsuit is going to show. There are more people who are responsible for Michael Jackson's death in fact, I say it was a big rat's nest, and the doctor was just a little mouse. In the uh, rat's nest, uh, uh, Brian, do you, uh, do you allege that AEG in some way violated medical law in the state of California? Or are you going to bring an action before the California Medical Board? We are filing an action before the California Medical Board that his concert promoters were engaged in the unlawful practice of medicine. Geraldo, I think when everybody sees this, they're going to be furious. Are you satisfied with the level of charges against Dr. Conrad Murray uh, being pursued by the state of California? I think that when you look at the entire picture here of all the people involved, the level of charges here are not satisfactory. No way, no how. And I think that the other people, the bigger people, the puppeteers who are pulling the strings have got to bear responsibility. Dr. Conrad Murray's defense will allege that Michael Jackson dosed himself with propofol and did not tell Dr. Conrad Murray, who later gave him the intravenous, and that's why he died. Kimberly, what do you think of that? Oh, that's just so ridiculous. I can't, I mean, really? So now Michael Jackson is a magician and is able to kill himself with propofol? And what, that's so out of the realm of possibilities? They're not saying he hung himself in the closet and then he did. Well, is that so insane? Good, good luck with that. Geraldo, I understand you have a soft spot for him, but he's had an issue, as many of these people do, taking uppers, taking downers. They can't sleep, they can't get up. It's a tragedy, it's sad, but let's make sure we don't pin the down the room, don't you? himself an IV of anesthesia. That's just ridiculous. Oh, really? Why? Why? It's so hard. People shoot themselves. And why? Oh, look today with Michael Jackson's father, Joe Jackson, that exclusive after this. According to various published estimates, the estate of Michael Jackson has earned nearly a billion dollars since the King of Pop died almost a year ago, including a reported $200 million from Cirque du Soleil for their planned live extravaganzas, $250 million from Sony for continuing rights to his music, including songs that have not yet been released, like that one I heard him record back in 2005, and millions more in merchandising, the Beatles song catalog, and many other sources. But the real question is whether that money is being used to silence criticism from the Jackson clan of the promoters and others. I spoke earlier today with uh, Michael's dad, Joe Jackson, and with Joe's associate, Leonard Rowe. Joe, let me, let me ask you, do you think that the big money coming from Michael's estate is buying silence from certain family members? But Joe, why are they ignoring you? Why are they concentrating all of their wealth on everyone else? How do 
do you mean that, Joe? Tell me. Do you support the lawsuit that Brian Oxman is about to file against the concert promoter trying to find out where the money is? But tell me what. Stealing money? Are they are they doing what they did when Michael was alive? I'll tell you what. There's a lot of money. Everything coming for. I want a lot of money. Do you still feel a hurt in your heart that Michael is worth more dead than alive? $10,000 a month to get their cooperation. Each of the children are getting $20,000 a month for that cooperation and silence. That sounds like it makes sense, that that's something you would I do. I have not to... corroborated well, it, right. but, but I mean, that's it's not, what I'm here. It's not implausible, is it, to think to get their cooperation, because otherwise it's not going to go smoothly if they contest it. And Arthur, how would you defend AEG? First of all, $10,000 a month of $900 million? Well, That's nothing. That's like a, a penny. But anyway, um, AEG, I would just... Like a, that's like a pension for them. They're not doing it. Ten thousand, but Gerardo, ten thousand is not. You don't even get a hundred thousand a month. Then I would say maybe you buy their silence. There was Brian. Thank you. Thanks everybody. There was.